Right, in this video, we're going to be talking about finding the sum of a series. So I've got here a general arithmetic series. So I've called this Sn. And we don't know how many terms there are, but we do know that we have a first term A and the last term L. And then between the terms in the series, we're just adding the constant D. That's what makes it arithmetic. So we have A, A plus D, A plus 2D, and this carries on all the way up to L minus D, and then adding D again to get to L. So this is the last term, and this is the first term, A. So now the question is, what is the sum gonna be? It's gonna be a number, what is it gonna equal? Now we're gonna use a trick, we're gonna use a method to derive a formula that was originally discovered by Gauss. So the first step is to take the sequence, the series, in fact, and we're just gonna write it out backwards. That's not gonna change the value of the series because there's a finite number of terms. We can just switch the order of the addition that doesn't change the value. So we're just gonna go ahead and write this whole series out backwards. And this is still equal to Sn. So we have L, L minus D, all the way down to A plus D and A. All right, so we've got the same series, the same number. We've just written out the order of the terms backwards and that doesn't change the value of the series. And now the clever trick is to compare these two uh, series. We're gonna look at the first terms of these two series and second terms together, and then all the way down, we can look at the last two. So we do this for every, every pair of terms. And now we ask the question, what would happen if we were to add these two series together? So on the left-hand side, we get two times Sn, right? Sn plus Sn, that's two Sn. And now we add these terms pairwise. So A plus L, that's A plus L here. And then in this, for the second terms, we have A plus D plus L minus D. So we actually get that these cancel out. So we're left with A plus L again. And this pattern would continue the whole way down the series. So we just get A plus L for every term in this new series. And you can see again here at the end, L minus D, A plus D, that these cancel out gets A plus L again, and the same for the last term. So now we've got a new series, but every term is exactly the same. And this, we can work out what the sum is, right? We can just simplify, because we can write this as n, n lots of, so we have n terms, and we can just write this as n times A plus L. That's what multiplication is, it's just addition repeatedly. So we have that 2SN is equal to n times A plus L. And then the last step to work out what Sn is, we just divide by two. So we get that Sn is equal to two, uh, n divided by two times A plus L. And this is a formula, so this is it. If we're given an arithmetic sequence in this form, A plus A plus D, so we have a common difference, we have a starting term and we have the last term, then this is the formula that you use to find out the sum, the, all the numbers added together. So there's also another case where if we were given this series in a different form, say Sn is equal to A plus A plus D, and we're carrying on, and we're gonna have n terms in this uh, series. And we know that the general nth term in a sequence, which is gonna be the same for an arithmetic series, is given by A plus n minus one D. So now this is our last term in the series. So we have A and we're adding D, to get to the next term and we have n terms. So this is an alternative um, expression for the series where we're not given a number for the last uh, term, although we have a, a formula for it, um, but we know that there are n terms in this series. Whereas before we didn't know how many terms there were, but we were given the last term. And now we can do the same thing. If you were to do the same steps, we would get to another formula. But there's also a trick we can use where we just look at the last term and we're gonna call this L. So we let L is equal to n minus one plus D. And then to get to our new formula, we're just gonna substitute this value of L into this formula. And we're gonna get another formula where we don't know uh, what the last term is, um, but instead we're given that we have n number of terms. So if we just sub an L into this formula, we're gonna get Sn is equal to n over two times a plus L, and now L is this stuff. So A plus N minus one D. And we can simplify this a little bit more. So we have SN is equal to N over two times two A plus N minus one D. 
And this is a very useful formula because if you're given a series and you're given the first term, you're given the difference and you want to work out the sum of that series after n number of terms, this is the formula. And this is also another formula where if instead you're given the first term and the last term, um, then this would give you the sum as well. And these are kind of equivalent and you can also derive this using the same steps here. And this is just a method that Gauss invented. It's very clever and we've used it to derive the formulas for the sum of the series.